Hey guys, I wanted to make a video on how to fix your non-detectable CD slash DVD drive. And what I mean by non-detectable, I mean it still works, it still opens and closes and stuff like that. There's still electricity running through it and a signal or whatever. But when you go to my computer, your CD DVD drive is not there. As you can see, mine is there, but like a few days before, it wasn't there at all. It's gone. It was gone for a few months actually, and I was freaking out. And uh, basically, I found a great way to save money not buy a new one for like eighty dollars and fix this problem on your own so all you need is command prompt every computer has it uh, yeah anyway so what happens is uh, your DVD drive is missing even if you put in a DVD to go watch and it doesn't work because it's missing there's no drive in your computer to operate a DVD drive and it's completely gone you don't know what the hell happened and um, basically uh, theory is that when you if you downloaded a new burning software and it screwed up the registry and basically makes your DVD drive you know not responsive but it will still respond like open and close but it won't like detect any DVDs or anything so that's a problem so basically how to fix this problem and get this icon this wonderful icon back is to go to command prompt but before I start this uh, go ahead and click CMD but before I start this uh, thing this tutorial basically uh, some people have been telling me that this um, this fix up is temporary. It's temporary. It, like it only fixes up for a few months, then your DVD drive shuts off again, and it's not responsive. It'll still open and close, but it's only temporarily fixed. But some other people have been telling me it's a permanent fix, and you can choose whatever this, whatever side. A lot of people say it's permanent fix. You're never gonna have to do anything again unless you really damage your CD drive. And some people say it's a temporary fix. Like in five months, so break down again but who knows it works for me it's been working for me everything's fine I was playing the Sims earlier and everything's great so basically uh, hey if it works it works so go ahead and try it but you know it's up to you if you want to try it so go ahead and go to command prompt CMD you know just CMD click enter go open up command prompt go write R-E-G-E-D-I-T reg edit what it means is registry edit you're gonna go get edit some registry files and click that it's gonna give you a black screen vista uh, let's open this up and I'm going to name you guys specific folders and files you need to touch. So go to computer, H key local machine, go down to system, when that breaks down go to current control set, when that breaks down go to control, when it goes down to class, and you're going to have to look for the specific folder. That's like, there's hundreds of these folders and uh, yeah, there's lots of these. You're going to look for one that deals with your CD drive. And that specific one is 4D36E965-E325-11CE-BFC1-08002BE10318. I'm going to write this down um, for you guys to see. You probably already saw it on screen anyway. And uh, once you open this file folder, you're going to find a these things but you're gonna look for specific ones it's not here right now because I already deleted it that's the next step what you need to delete is upper filters and uh, lower filters it's gonna be in this area right here it's gonna say upper filters and lower filters delete those and go to close and basically go to start and then restart your computer restart your computer go back to my computer see if it works it's like moment wonderful icon appears everyone's happy put a DVD and put a game and put a program and see if it works you know uh, it works for me I was watching a movie earlier I was playing games earlier everything was fine and I'm happy I don't have to spend seventy dollars to buy a new one and to install it and that's basically it I hope this works for you and uh, I'll, pray, I'll pray to God that it's not temporary uh, some people have been saying that but some people have been saying it's permanent so go ahead and do that and uh, basically everything's fine you're happy again you can go ahead and play I don't know Sims or something, and have a great day. I hope this helped you out. If you uh, need any help or just have any questions, go ahead and personal message me, comment to me, and uh, thanks again. Rate my video if you like, and again, have a great day.